I get those goosebumps every time I need the high Throw that to the side, yo I get those goosebumps every time Yeah, when you're not around what is going on guys i'm scooping gaming and welcome back to another video today i'll be telling you guys about my position as a trainee in the nether game staff and some of the rule changes of the server before we get on with today's video i would like to thank you guys for those good comments on my face feel thank you guys so much for that and also a really really huge thank you for 8,000 subscribers i literally cannot thank you guys enough what you guys have done for my channel if you guys are new make sure you guys subscribe and turn on notifications so you won't miss a single video pop a like on this video to show your support to my channel let's try to shoot for 13 likes on this video and of course i hope you guys enjoy now i know i have been making a lot of nether game videos i went for having a youtube rank to partnering and then finally a trainee this is a complete 180 from the first rank showcase i have done on the server now as a trainee you cannot punish players yet but you also do get some cool staff features like tracking and spectating. From what I heard from other staff members is that training takes about two and a half weeks, depending on how you're dealing with reports, scenarios, and support. After those two weeks of training, you are promoted to the crew rank. Now obviously that has way more permissions than the trainee rank, but honestly guys, applying to become staff was not easy. It took me two hours to fill out the application with the best answers I could as possible. I also had to participate in the interview with another game's community manager, so yeah, it's a it's a very long process. Once I've submitted my application, it took them about 8 hours to respond. Usually it takes them about 96 hours for them to do that. Also, I have to be more careful of what I post on the internet. So from now on, my videos will be completely kid-friendly. Also, since my channel is growing more and more popular, I need to start being the perfect public figure and set a good example for other people. Now, I know this might sound very cheesy, but like, it's what I need to do, honestly. Like, I need, a, I need to be a great example for the, you know, for the little guys out there. Now, I know that Nether Games is kind of going downhill, mainly because of the service rules. You were used to get in trouble for saying L, calling someone a noob, and using swear acronyms. But now, it is not like that. The rules have changed a bit. You can now swear by either using acronyms like WTF, or you can just not type the whole word out. And also, you can now call players noobs, you can say L, and you can say easy to a player. Now I know all this seems great, but bullying or being disrespectful is still not allowed. You cannot cuss someone out or call someone bad, idiot, stupid, etc. You guys also can't be racist. Although we as a staff are encouraged not to swear. So I hope that the new rules will bring Nether Games back from the dead. Now you guys will have to see the server as a 100% Christian playground or something like that. We're even changing the way we find proof to punish someone for the wrongdoing. So like, if some player is accusing someone, we won't actually ban them on a the spot. We actually find some kind of proof, like a screenshot or a video. Then we will come up with the final decision. We are constantly changing the rules so that the server can be a better place to play on. Well, that is it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys are new to my channel, make sure you guys subscribe and turn on notifications so you won't miss a single video. Thank you guys so much for 8,000 subscribers. I'm Sculpting Gaming, and I'll see you guys next time. Stay lit.